Welcome back uh, to Steam Processing. In this video, we are going to talk about what is Steam Processing. But even before we start that, let's talk about what is data exchange. Data exchange can happen over multiple sources. The basic and the most basic example which comes to my mind is postal service. You can actually write your data or your information on a letter and can post it. That postal service will take your data to the to, to the uh, appropriate receiver. And that's a sort of data exchange. When we talk about computer communication, these days we generally talk about APIs, which can be in the form of REST, GraphQL, webhooks. But the idea is the same, that one computer is sharing some sort of information, some sort of data, and that data is being exchanged over these kind of services. Let's take the most basic way of data exchange in real world. Notice boards. A producer goes to a notice board and attaches a flyer, which he wants to show to the world. He might be asking for help, he might be just sharing information, and that can be sort of data exchange. On the other side, there are consumers or users who are passing by that notice board and can read that information, react on it, or basically take any actions they feel necessary, or completely ignore the messages at all if it's not entrusted for them. Now let's take the same example and let's make it a bit more complicated. Let's say as a consumer, you are interested in certain topics. For this class, let's choose the topics like Kafka, Spark, Stream Processing, and Big Data. Now as a producer, I can take my flyer uh, and attach it to a certain topic. Let's say in this case, the producer says, hey, you know what? I want to release a notice or a data exchange with respect to Kafka. A consumer which is subscribed to that topic and only that topic will get that information. And this can go through a notice board, this can go through an email notification, but you generally get the idea that the data exchange can happen over these kind of communication channels also. So we just took the example of our notice board and make it a bit more complicated. And this is how, let's say, something like a medium uh, application works. Now let's talk about data exchange in stream processing. So we talked about data exchange, but what is data exchange when it comes to stream processing? In our previous case, we have seen that the data is exchanged more in a batch mode, right? Either via email or which, which can be delayed by a day or an hour, or if there was a flyer on the notice board, whenever the consumer passes that notice board, they will see it. In stream processing, what is happening is that this data is getting uh, getting exchanged in more real time. So in this example, this producer produces some data to the Kafka topic, and that Kafka topic get immediately uh, receives that message, and that message is immediately given to the consumer. We can have the same example of a Spark topic also. So you, so the producer in this case produces some message to a Spark topic, uh, and then consumers who are subscribed to that Spark topic get that information. But this happens in real time. The data which is being exchanged between producers and consumers don't happen with a delay of hours or days, but it happens more in real time. But let's define real time. Real time does not mean that it immediately happens. It doesn't happen at the speed of light. What, uh, by real time, what it means that there is a few seconds of delay, but it's way much better than what it was before. Generally, in the batch processing world, we consume data every minute, every hour, uh, but in real time, the messages comes in way more faster. 